Hi folks, Bryony Thomas here. Um, so I'm back for my uh, my follow-up session on uh, the language of marketing. And so what I'm going to be doing is going through a little list of words. Um, and I need to add some more because they just keep coming to me. But I, I have a list of 22 words um, where I think uh, there are words that are used so often in marketing and in sales that um, that 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 are really unhelpful um, and that better words exist. And today I want to talk about um, shouting versus listening. And uh, it's uh, shouting in marketing is one of those things that you do hear. And it's often said almost in jest. So, um, oh, you're going to want to shout about that. Or it's so good you want to shout it from the hilltops. Um, or perhaps it's um, there's the visual metaphor of the loud hailer. Um, which is often associated with marketing. I mean, lots of uh, companies use the loud hailer as um, as uh, as a symbol of marketing. In fact, you can get it as an icon, can't you? In the in almost like an emoji um, that marketing is the loud hailer. And often on um, on systems diagrams of businesses, marketing is seen as the loud hailer, the person standing there shouting. And um, I just don't think it's very useful. I don't think it's very useful as um, as an idea in marketing. So uh, I think listening is better and I'll, I'll go through a number of reasons why. So first of all, have a think about um, how you feel if you hear someone standing in a street shouting. If they're standing there and they're shouting, what do you think? You probably think they're a little bit crazy um, and perhaps you want to walk away or there's something wrong. There's a there's a crisis of some kind. Um, so either they're shouting because they desperately need your help, in which case it's a kind of a sense of urgency um, and uh, and fear. Uh, and I don't, I'm not a big believer in fear based marketing. I don't think it creates some um, long term relationships. I'm a, I'm a much uh, I'm a believer in empathetic marketing, which I'll, I'll get to in a moment. I don't mind negative triggers, but it has to be with empathy, not fear. Um, and uh, and then the other thing, uh, uh, you know, about someone shouting is that you think they're a little bit crazy um, and it's hard to it's hard to kind of respond and get a word in edgeways. And so shouting as uh, as an idea of what marketing does. So, um, hey, let's all shout about it um, and let's shout from the rooftops or marketing is a loud hailer, I think is a an unhelpful um, word and an unhelpful metaphor um you know the kind of marketing as the amplifier and um i think listening's better so i think listening's better for lots of reasons so first of all if you listen to your audience listen to your customers listen to yourself and your inner voice um then you are much more likely to be able to to say things that people want to listen to so shouting usually comes from um uh kind of trigger emotions it, it doesn't come from thoughtful uh, thoughtful emotions so i think if you're listen if you are more given to listening than shouting then you're more likely to find things that people truly um, want to listen to so you'll have conversations that uh, that actually get things starting the right way and the other is this thing about fear so shouting is usually um, something that human beings do in in shock or in crisis um whereas uh, actually i think um empathetic uh, listening based messaging. So often in marketing, you'll hear people talk about um, triggering an emotional reaction. And um, I, I use the phrase uh, an away from emotion. And these things um, are important, but I think they should come from a place of empathy. So, um, you know, do you feel like this? Have you ever found yourself in a situation like this? It's empathetic, not, oh, my God, you idiot. Have you found yourself in this situation? Sort it out now. Rah, rah, rah. It's more, um, you know, do you feel like this? And and um, have you ever found yourself in this situation? Yeah, you know, we know how that feels. That's much more inviting. Um, they're more, more likely to listen to you. Um, and you know, you'll find um, anyone in in sales, anyone who's really worth their metal in sales will tell you that um, particularly in, in telephone sales or um, that listening is more important. Asking a question and then allowing somebody to speak um, and really tell you their story is going to get you closer to a sale um, than, uh, than many other things. And the same is true in social media. So if you think about shouty social media, which is look at us, look at all our staff. Um, it's kind of broadcast, broadcast, broadcast. Whereas um, social media that asks a question and engages and responds and listens um, is a lot, you know, takes you through to somewhere much, much better. The other thing is um, that shouting is uh, is exhausting. So if you were to think about always shouting, you know, shout, 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 um, it's exhausting. Whereas 
listening, having good energizing conversations, um, choosing not to continue a conversation with someone who's, who's you know, not the right fit for you um, is something that you could sustain, whereas constantly shouting is something you couldn't sustain. So for me, um, World Start Marketing is all about sustainable, the uh, foundations for sustainable sales growth. So I truly believe that the word shouts um, being associated with marketing is unhelpful. It's unhelpful because, um, first of all, uh, you leave no space for other people to um, respond. You typically um, it comes from a negative, uh, a fear based negative place, which doesn't invite people in. It scares people away. Um, it's is exhausting it's not sustainable um, and it doesn't draw you into an empathetic relationship with people and really honestly people who stand around shouting um, aren't the most uh, attractive people to spend time with so i definitely think that if you um, have thought about marketing as shouting the loud hailer um, hey let's shout, shout about this guys maybe have a think about the language that you're using there because i'm not convinced that marketing is the loud hailer is really what you need in your business. I think marketing is the empathetic listener as the good conversationalist, as the person who draws out other people's stories and draws people forward into a relationship with you um, is much, much more powerful. What's more, it's sustainable. Shouting, shouting, shouting is not a sustainable way to behave in your real life and it's not a, a, a sustainable way to behave in marketing. So listening is much more powerful than shouting. That's what I've got to say. Uh, I will be back with another video soon on the next item on the list. So if you want to know the full list, do go to wallstypemarketing.com forward slash language. You can download the full list of 22 words. I think I probably will continue to add more because I keep hearing more words in marketing. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, I'm not sure that uh, breeds healthy, uh, <laughs> healthy marketing and healthy long term profits. Um, so I'm going to be dissecting them and, and, and uh, perhaps giving you some better words to build into your, the language of marketing so that you've got um, a better underpinning to your marketing and to your long term business success. Hope, uh, hope I've got you thinking. Let me know what you think. Cheers. Bye.